I'm Argyle Witch and I'm back and you might have noticed I moved the hair clip because I wanted up a little higher. <laughs> um, but in the last episode we did the the head Z. Um, and now we're going to work on la botte. Um, and for the body we don't have too too much to worry about. Um, we're not doing much in the way of poses so that's okay here. Um, and instead, it's just going to be the breathing, the X, Y, and Z. So let's do that. And these things right here are going to have some physics, but we're not going to worry about those right at this very moment. Yeah. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is grab all of these things and just give them a little deformer. I don't, I don't need custom deformer or custom meshes, not deformers, meshes on this. Excellent. <laughs> um, so when it comes to the body, you have like Z, which is side by side, and then you have like X, which is turning side by side, and Y, which is up and down. So like this and this would be our X, and this and this would be our Y, and then like this and this is our, our uh, Z. So... Yeah. <laughs> um, so depending on which one you want to work with first, I think I think for me I'm going to do the top part first. So I'm going to work with this. Uh, when it comes to to Z, I actually kind of like to make the models like almost dance a little bit, if you will. But uh, yeah. So I'm going to put this in a deformer. And this is going to be body uh, X, Y. So uh, here we're going to turn the body this way. And what I usually do is just kind of grab this and pull it this way. And we're going to try to make the body look like it is turning. Because... <clears throat> When you know, normally would do this with full size art, you're going to separate all this stuff. You'd have like the upper chest, you'd have like each breast, you might have like the core torso, and then you might have like the hips, and then you would have like a thigh, a uh, calf, and then an, a foot, the shoulder, the uh, forearm, and the hand. So for me, I'm trying to get this to kind of look a little bit like it's over there. Yeah, so it looks like I kind of twisted a little bit. And uh, I'm going to reflect that for the other side. Um, and when it comes to... Mm, mm, and when it comes to the Y, I got, like, a part of me almost wants to put it in its own deformer. But I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to. Okay, so Y is like the, you're going to go up over here. So we're going to kind of stretch it and we're going to kind of like angle it up. So like we're lifting up, you know? And I'm going to adjust the head to a body Y2. And then for the uh, Y down, we're going to kind of like bring it down like we're moving down. And you can really go ham at these and give like a great range of emotion. Um, I sometimes think it's very exaggerated, but yeah. All right. And since we're doing a chibi, I'm just going to synthesize quarters. Like normally I would probably do them separately. But I think this is good enough for this. For what we're doing here, I think it's good enough. Um, and now for this, I'm going to do the hood next. And we're going to do hood X, Y. So this is moving here, so I want to kind of keep that center there. So we're going to try to move this so this centerpiece. Oops. And if it helps, you can turn these off for now. I'm 
just gonna have to rotate this around a little bit. Make this look a little wider if possible. Because you're showing a bit more of it. Kinda like that. Now again, I'm I'm just short um I'm just showing you on like a chibi where it's very simplified. So when you do this on um, a full size model, there'd be a bit more detail going into it. You'd be a bit more careful with how things look. You might even add extra stuff on the end. So we have it like that. And mind you, the back hasn't been done yet. So we're just looking at the front right now. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, that's all right. And now this is moving up I kind of pull it down as well a little bit so it's like big whoosh type of thing you know like a wah. and then this is pulling down so I want to try to get this to come down a little bit <clears throat> and I have to be careful because like this neck isn't going to show much more but I'm going to try to adjust the it a little bit because I want it to look like you're showing a bit more down here. So you see how it's kind of like bowing up and then this bows down? That's kind of what our goal is with fine adjustments to make it look, you know, how, how it should, should be. So fine tuning. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, like that for the X and Y so far. Um, let's do the back of the hood real quick. It shouldn't be as bad. All right, so here we have it because like this, uh, it's behind the thing. You know what? Maybe not bad. of the, the hoodie. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this body and I'm going to put it in another deformer. I'm just going to pull up. No, wait, 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 wait. You know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because I'm going gonna to do these all together because I want to do breathe and it's going to have a little bit of effect on this, I think. Um, and this has an effect on these strings. So uh, these I'm going to do uh, just like Three deformers. And I'm gonna do the same over here. Also, let me shrink it down just a little bit. Right, 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 meow. Right, meow, right, meow. So we might to these a little bit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alright, and bring that down right, right now. And I wanna have a physics for this, so I'm gonna just do this as, um, Draw strings. And I guess I'll just kind of go like this. Oh, it's getting a little deformed. I don't like it. Alright. Yep, that's pretty much all I'm looking for. I'm going to do the same for this one as well. Blah, 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 sorry. Sorry, no, sorry. Alright, so now we have that. Um, and now we can grab all of these. Actually, we're going to have to 
grab their parent deformers. And then we can control, control, control. I'm gonna put this in another thing and we're just gonna call it breathe, breath, breathed. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna expand the chest area a little bit. I, I Maybe I should have put the arms in there, I don't know. But, so I'm just gonna kind of pull out like this a little bit on these points. So it's, you got that breathing. Wow. That's it. That's really it. And if I wanted to do like booble physics on something like this, I would do it the same way where I just move this little area here and I wouldn't worry about the rest of it. Um, normally, you know, the chesticles are uh, on their own separate layer and I will show eventually how to do, how I do chest physics, um, but not right now. <laughs> that's a future project. All right, that's goo, that's goo. Now we have some arms. Um, okay, okay. I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna try doing them on, you know, without having a deformer around them because I'm really just moving them back and forth a little bit. I am going to add a rotation deformer on these after to do the Z. This is just kind of like pulling it in and out like your hands being pulled behind your body a little bit. That's really all I want for that. And then for this one, the chest is going up, which I kind of want to pull this in and maybe down a little bit. Like your shoulders are dropping. Whereas this, I kind of want to pull it up and rotate it out. So like your shoulders are hiking up a little bit, you know? Yeah, like that. And then me and my corners. Do the corners. Yeah, kind of like that. That's goo. Uh, and I know I haven't done those yet. I I'll get to them. Look, I told you I do things in weird order. <laughs> do things in a very weird order. Um, the good news is, is that there's not so much of a drastic uh, shift that I have to do them separately. I'm going to do them together. Yeah. Um, let's do this one. And do the corners. Yeah. Nah. Okay. Let me, uh, let me do these, um, these since I'm here. So I'm grabbing both of them. Since they're in the breath deformer, I have to either do them individually or together. I guess, yeah. I mean, what other options are there, really? Uh, let's see. Let's just draw a string. X, Y. Excellent. Click it to grab the whole thing, and then we want it to go up, so I'm gonna... Pull it up and since and since this is going um around a chest i'm gonna kind of just like pull this like this a little bit and i know it's gonna look no, mm, i don't want it to widen so maybe the three is the best because what i'm trying to do is uh sort of pull it around the chesticles just a bit. Let me make it a little shorter. Because it's going around the boobage. And this one should be free dangling. So so there's going to be a little uh, going around the boobage here. And if we really want, we can kind of like pull it like this to make it warp around boobage. Um, but when it's down, it should dangle a little longer. And what's up, it should be a little shorter. So that's groovy. All right, so we have 
the upper torso. We can do the bottom torso too. Ba -ba -ba -ba. What do we got? Skirt. Skirt. We don't need to do too much. Just, uh, body X Y. The one thing I didn't do for this is really give a back of the skirt. If you did a flat skirt, because mine's bowing down a little bit, as you can see, like how it bows down. But if you did it kind of flat straight across, you would want to have something for the back of the skirt, um, especially for the up. But for me, I'm okay with how this is. Because I'm not really bending the leg at all, because I purposely didn't. I mean, I guess if I wanted to, I could kind of grab half of it and be like, yeah, we have like a little bender. But I'm not sure I want to do that. All right, so for a turn this way, I'm going to kind of rotate the leg this way a little bit. So it's kind of turning in. And for this one, I'm going to rotate it out a little bit. I'm going to pull it out this way. I'm trying to keep the foot. You see this foot here? Uh, in this similar area. Like it can rock a little bit, but I really don't want it to go like jutting far. Maybe we'll do that later, but yeah. All right, now let me do that to the other one. And I know I still have to do the Y, but I want to kind of get this. No, I think it was this way. I rotated it in. And then this way I rotated. Let's do the Y. And since hmm. because we're lowering down a little bit, I want just like do I want to squish the leg a little bit? I think I'll squish the leg and then I'll take this and I'll just kind of pull it forward just a smidgen. So it kind of looks like it's a bit more rounded. And for the opposite, I'm gonna kind of pull it up. I didn't mean to do that. And grab this. And rotate it like that. Yeah. Uh, and let me do it to this one as well. Separated, uh, separated slightly, so I would bend the knees in. I would, you know, do all that other stuff, and I, and I technically still can. Like, if I really wanted to with this, I could, like, rotate this, like I, I had showed before, where it was like, you know, if I wanted to do something like this, and I could take the whole thing and move it in. And one last part to the X and Y is we're going to do the head. Uh, so I'm going to grab this deformer and I'm just going to do head, body, X, Y. And I know I'm just, basically I'm just morphing that deformer, which doesn't really matter because I just want to move it a little bit. So like when it turns this way, I'm just going to kind of move the head a little bit. And when it turns this way, I'm just going to kind of move the head a little bit. And then mostly what I want is the Y, where if I'm going up, I'm going to move the whole head up a little bit. And if I'm going down, I'm going to move the whole head down a little bit. Fwah, 
Foie. That's such a weird looking thing. <laughs> it's so peculiar, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> uh, and now we gotta add, do a Z, but I'm gonna do that in the next one because this episode took a little bit longer. Um, and Z is not too, too hard. Um, but yeah, but hold on, let, let's go into the open because we're just gonna kind of jump into random poses. <laughs> All right, that was kind of cute. And I know that the hair goes down pretty low here. And if I really wanted to, I could adjust it on every single one of those things and it would be fine. But for the most part, I don't even think we're gonna see it. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me on this episode of Live 2D Basics with Argama. Uh, if you like this series, please give the uh, video a like. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to try to answer them. Um, and, uh, yeah, share this video and all that other shit. And I'll see you on the next one where we do the Z. All right, bye!